What up? Tyler here. Hey, I want to hit you with a real quick lesson on complementary and supplementary angles. Real quick, if you could, please subscribe to tarveracademy.com. And also, this post is sponsored by learningbird.com. So if you're in the mood to learn, check out learningbird.com. Boom, let's get to the lesson, shall we? Okay, so we're looking at complementary and supplementary angles. Um, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you the easiest way to remember and the easiest way to know what they are. Okay? So I'm not going to give you all the fluff. I'm going to give you the need to know. You ready? Complementary means that these two angles add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary means the angles add up to 180 degrees. Now, 90 degrees, you know, makes a right angle. 180 degrees, you know, makes a straight line. Okay? Now, we're talking about angles being paired up here. Now, whenever, let's say you got complementary, that would be like a 30 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. Those two angles are complementary. Um, let's say you've got a 20 degree angle and a 70 degree angle. 20 plus 70 is 90, therefore those angles are complementary. And they also, when put together, make a right angle, okay, because a right angle is 90 degrees. Now, they don't have to be put together, but to be complementary. They can be separate like this one, or they can be put together. Either way, if they add up to 90 degrees, addition-wise, they're complementary, okay? So let's talk about supplementary, shall we? Supplementary is the exact same thing, except the two angles add up to 180, okay? So like a 40 degree angle and a 140 degree angle. I had to draw it because I just kind of skimmed on it a little bit. Put those two together, it would make 180 degrees and make a straight line. Boom. But I didn't. They don't have to be together, but they can be. Most of the time you will see them right next to each other. Um, for instance, if you have a straight line right here and you've got an angle that is 80 degrees, what would the complement, I'm sorry, what would the supplement of that angle be? Well, you just take 180, subtract the angle we know, and it gives us our other angle. Okay, so you'll hear it said that way, like, oh, what is the complement of 10 degrees? 80, because 10 plus 80 equals 90, okay? Let me give you the real easy way to remember this. You ready? Let's give a circle to learn in. This is our learning circle. Okay. So the easiest way to remember these, because I, I mean I, I work with math all the time, but I still might get these two mixed up. All right, the easiest way to remember which one goes with the 90 degrees and which one goes with the 180, because you'll be on a test and be like, oh, what is the complement? Oh, you're like, oh, it's either 90 or 180. Which one is it? Okay, I'm going to show you how to remember. Alphabetically, you've got complementary, you've got supplementary. Alphabetically, which one comes first, C or S? C, and then S comes second. That's an eight. Yes, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Now, as far as numbers go, just like if you were counting from one and you could count it up into the world, which number comes first, ninety or one hundred and eighty? Ninety. Which one comes second? One eighty. And that's also the way they match up. Complementary means they add up to ninety. Supplementary means they add up to one eighty. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to say it, but you just got your learn on. All right, please check out tarveracademy.com. Also, thank you to learningbird.com for sponsoring this post. Boom. Peace. Peace. What up? Peace. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.